Welcome to Shruti's Kitchen. Today let's make soft and buttery bread at home. People think that it's complicated but it's so simple and once you start making bread at home, you will never buy the store bought ones because it's much more healthier and it's easy and it's therapeutic and I love baking bread at home. So let's see the ingredients and start the recipe. So for making this, we need 3 quarter cups of all purpose flour, about 390 grams of flour, about 3 tablespoons of sugar and 3 tablespoons of milk powder. Use good quality milk powder to get nice and soft and fluffy bread. 250 ml of water, I'm going to use more if I need to. 1 teaspoon of salt, 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter, 2 and quarter teaspoons of instant yeast. So first let's start by making the dough. If you have the stand mixer, use that. I'm going to do it manually. So for the dough, I'm going to mix milk powder first into the all-purpose flour, followed by sugar. I like it a bit sweeter. Instant yeast. Do not replace with dry yeast. As we are using instant yeast, we can directly combine it with the flour and some salt. I'm going to mix everything nicely so that all the dry ingredients are properly combined. We'll now gradually add in lukewarm water. It shouldn't be very hot. It should be just warm. So now look at this, all the dry flour is incorporated with the water. It's a sticky mess right now. I'm going to clean my hands. We'll transfer this onto the work surface and knead it for 10 to 15 minutes. So I used one and a half cups of water and make sure that the work surface is absolutely clean. I'm going to stretch the dough and knead it for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to show you exactly how I do. And from time to time, keep scraping the hands and keep scraping the work surface. At the end, you will see that the dough is nice and soft. You can use your stand mixer to do this, but I prefer to knead it with hands. It feels very therapeutic and very relaxing for me. But this is going to be a good, nice workout. And the plastic scraper works great than the steel one because it's very flexible. With the heel of my hand, I'm going to just stretch the dough. When the dough is ready, it doesn't stick to your hands at all. So now look at this. It doesn't stick to my hands at all. At this point, I'm going to add the butter, which is at room temperature, and I'm going to knead it. Make sure the butter is at room temperature, otherwise it might not mix properly with the dough. I'm going to knead it for two more minutes after adding butter. If you're comfortable using both of your hands, that would be even better. But make sure your hands are absolutely clean. So now look at this, this is just the perfect consistency, nothing sticks to my hands and all the butter is nicely incorporated into the dough. Grease the bowl with few drops of oil or some butter and spread it all over the bowl. I'm going to rest the dough ball for one hour or until it becomes double in its size. Make sure you leave it in a warm place and keep this covered. The dough is looking absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get this onto the work surface. I don't need any additional flour. I want to keep it nice and moist. I'll start shaping into a log. Make sure that you seal the ends once you roll it once. By doing this step, you can eliminate the air bubbles. 
and seal it finally once again at the end and this portion i'm going to tuck in like that and do the same thing on the other end as well perfect today i'm using this 9 inch pandame pan you may use the standard bread loaf pan as well this pan comes with a tight fitting lid like this for the standard loaf pan you will get the dome on top of the bread but with this pan you get absolutely perfect square bread slices but as i told you you can use any of these two pans i'm going to grease the pan nicely with some oil you can use some butter as well I'm going to cover this and leave it in the warm place for half an hour or until it doubles in its volume. The dough has doubled in its volume. Preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and bake it for 25 minutes with the lid on and after that bake it for 5 to 10 more minutes without the lid at the same temperature. After baking for 25 minutes, I'm going to open the cover. and we'll bake this for 10 more minutes it gets a nice golden color all over bread baked for 35 minutes exactly at 350 fahrenheit look at this it's nice and soft i'm going to cool this completely on the wire rack and then we'll slice it let me slice it is looking very soft check this out amazing The bread loaf has come out awesome so do try it and enjoy with your family for more such yummy recipes please hit on the like button and subscribe to Shruti's kitchen I'll be back soon with another great recipe till then take care bye